Hey there, everybody. Jay Roddy here, coming to you actually from my garage. I'm gonna be doing something a little different today. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be actually building some stuff. Part of those things I wanna do with my channel is uh, craft some items. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The thing I'm gonna be making is actually a gift that I received from my wife. It's called the Rocker Mechanical Music Box. So this is the Starry Night. Uh, this was purely a gift that I received. I'm not uh, promoted by them by any means. This is just purely a gift that I received from my wife. Yeah, let's get into it. So this is one of the parts of my channel I always wanted to do. I think I'm going to aptly title this as Poorly Crafted. Poorly Crafted because of <clears throat> me being relatively poor and also to um, chances of shoddy craftsmanship while I'm working. And open all this up. the instructions here looks like we have our music box right here all right set that there Get that safely out of the way so here we have our music box part. Very kind of fascinating, getting to look at all the uh, centricities on the inside. Come on, focus. No, okay. Yeah, here we have the music box components. Should wind up somehow. Right. So a really cool thing about this is uh, all the little planets and stuff. Every single little planet will be uh, identified here. Pretty neat. All right, so we got all the little intricacies all spread out. section called B8. We're going to take that out. So we're going to use the little music box first, looks like. That's what's going to be starting us off. But yeah, this is a section on my channel I want to build for quite a while. me in my garage building stuff and again see how well I can do it either it's gonna come out great or it's gonna come out poor hence the uh, title I opted to go with what 
which was poorly crafted. It's really fun building these uh, little items. I've built a few over the past, one of them being a crossbow that I've built. couple other little machines. So this by far is going to be the most intricate one I've ever built. Well, even though it's the most intricate, it should still be relatively easy. Let's see, A section, A board, A board, A board. A3. Now, nowhere does it say to glue any of this stuff, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to assume I don't have to. Hopefully, that continues to be the case. A3 and A3. If it does revolve gluing, I have plenty of wood glue that I can just kind of zip zap it in there without any concerns. Most of this stuff is uh, tension set, very pressure sensitive, so you kind of just have to jam it in there. Like that. And A6. I'm curious as to how long this will take me. I want to believe it will take me only one single day to make. Granted, if I don't have any interruptions or anything. Hopefully that continues to be the case. So some other portions of stuff I want to do on my channel are actually going to be uh, working on my Jeep as well. I don't know if I'm going to put that underneath uh, four wheeling fun or if I will have that um, underneath poorly crafted. So it really depends on how I'm feeling probably. because it could really go either way. There you go. In my strugglings here, <laughs> I got the, uh, the music box to activate. That's kind of nice. thing about these. It's got a little accordion. 
a little spring in there. Well, that's gotta be pretty dang hard to do to make this out of wood. So you have to be very careful, apparently too, when you're taking it out of uh, the uh, box that it's in. So if you're not careful, you could snap right through these. Kind of interesting, it's like a little flex plate almost kind of bends and flexes. accordion bits actually go into a bend. They wrap around the corners. Make kind of almost like a display. I'll show you here as I push the pieces in. Nice. I'm assuming I have to do the other edges here. Disaster. So that little accordion piece I was telling you about just snapped. So dang. So it looks like I could probably put it back together. But I'm definitely going to need a little bit of wood glue to kind of help support it. Unless... Yeah, no, this whole thing just wants to flex. So, I don't know if you can really see it. So it splits right there. So, that's no good. I could probably get by without trying to repair this thing. I would feel a little bit better about having it repaired. So I'm gonna go get some wood glue real fast. All right, got some wood glue here. So I'm gonna use my pick. Try to gather up a dollop here. back together. Just like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to let this little piece dry for a hot minute. I'll try to do the other piece. And hopefully that one doesn't break as soon as I take it out. So if that one breaks, so if that one also breaks, it's going to be really annoying and I'm not going to be very appreciative of that. Here's hoping. So this one looks to be in a lot better shape until I start bending it, of course.
it is not gonna work. But that's okay. Sometimes when uh, making stuff out of wood. Kind of disconcerting when you're pushing all this stuff together and you hear cracking noises. One of the hardest parts of a build like this is just trying to get everything out of its sprue, basically. Well, this is kind of cool. We're getting to the uh, verticals here instead of having just a flat box. Starting to build upwards. But here's something interesting. So, with this larger gear right here, so it says to wax the gray part. So studying this gear for waxing the gray part, I don't see any gray part, but I'm assuming they're just talking about the teeth. That's what I'm assuming. They're talking about the teeth so there's a little illustration here in the instructions. So they include a little ball of wax. So I'll go through, try to wax up every tooth. I don't know how excessive I need to be for this. Okay, so I got all the tack, the teeth wax up. And it says to put in a P5. Let's 
some more screws. Also, too, they got these little grommets in here. So, little black grommets. So. It says to insert it into this piece. here and then to use this tool to press it Another disaster. <laughs> I totally just shredded it. But luckily I got my wood glue here. And I can repair it. When they say press, I really try to press it. So, but yeah, it's supposed to go in just like that. Allegedly. Alright, we're to the part, it looks like, where we get to add a planet. So, actually get to add a planet onto here. some double-sided tape and this is pretty much what's going to hold the little plastic bead on the end I don't want to use all of it so I'll just try out a little bit see how much how much that gets me off the excess. little planet aligned in here. I was having a hard time wanting to stay straight, so more glue. I don't know if that's quite the answer, but that's the answer I'm going to give it. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm having a hard time trying to keep it completely straight, so, but I think I got it. I'm gonna set that off to the side to dry. So, sometimes that's just how it goes, especially when working with wood. You get in a hurry, like I just did, and whatever, and you end up snapping a few pieces. So these are pretty delicate, small, little intricate um, pieces of wood. And they break really easily. So you do your best to just try to not get in a hurry, but sometimes it happens. Especially when you're impatient like me. But you do your best to soldier on, make repairs where you can. So with wood, that's what a little wood glue can't fix. Makes for relatively easy repairs. Relatively easy repairs. <laughs> My first little planet on the planetary gears here. So now it looks like I need to include the sun. But interestingly enough, the sun doesn't need an adhesive. It says to just tension set it in there. It's a tip. Another difficult part that I'm already a little nervous about. I have to put another one of those little plastic grommets inside of one of the gears. That didn't go so well last time. Well, I'll see what I can do. Make it a very tight fit, which is good. However, doesn't want to go, it doesn't want to go, and then it just ends up breaking the wood. Hey, all right. That one went in just fine. So, much better. Much better than last time. Splitting of wood, no cracking of wood, that's the way it should be. Alright, there we go. We have our Sun and Mercury set on there. So that's fantastic. That's fantastic. difficult parts so I need to use the little grommets again and I'm not looking forward to it the hard part is getting it aligned Whew. one down another one to go all right that one wasn't nearly as bad either so I've got those ones in One thing, I'm getting better at doing these grommets. So they are somewhat difficult, but I'm getting better at them.
your squares, and it's also got, got your standard squares. And you also have some on the side, on the front and bottom. And it's also got just the little directions on there too. wants me to put on one of these little grommets on there and I don't like the little grommets because I am terrible at installing them.
Okay, so it's going. It's not happy about something. Hmm. Question is, is why is it not happy for? What is going on? Is it this upper ring? Well, so it's having some major issues and I don't know why. But I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna keep working at it and uh, see what's going on here. So it seems to be working now. I wonder if it was just not wound up tight enough, maybe, perhaps. I seem to have gotten it now. And there's only just a couple pieces left. So I have a lot of spare pieces, which is nice. They've given me quite a lot of spare pieces, like this one right here, and that one right there, and a whole bunch of these little guys, because they must split really easily, especially when you're smacking them with a hammer like I have been. Oh, but luckily, that hasn't been an issue. All right, it looks like I've got one more piece to go. So, so final piece right here. So it looks like this one needs to go. Just like that. Just like that. All right. Got it built. Oh, come on. Hmm. That was no easy task. But she's built. It works was fun to build. After studying some more of the components here, I do see I have a lot more extra pieces so I could use to try to repair um, those broken ones, which, I mean, that does involve a complete disassembly. But I don't know if I'm going to go all the way and do that. 
But for right now, um, I'm going to call this done. So this was the uh, rocker, a little music box. So my wife had gifted me that has been uh, sitting on my to-do table forever. Got it done. And it came out really good. I'm pretty happy with this little kit. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So. Got it all completed, so now the question lies is where I want to place this artifact. So now that I've built this, it came out pretty good. I think that's going to have to go up onto one of my display shelves over here. The question is where, so you can see some of the previous things I've done. get some more shelvings or find somewhere to place this part of that because there's just no more room so but anyways thank you for uh watching over on uh so my first little poorly built uh artifact here my music box that was a gift and uh yeah thank you very much for watching Jay Roddy here. Just wanted to also remind everybody if you're enjoying the content you see as I work here in my garage or if I'm playing video games or if I'm four wheeling or doing whatever. So give me a like and a subscribe. So help me grow my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.